Hello Manifesting Generators, welcome and thank you for being here today. You are in the right place if you're struggling through a dark night of the soul at the moment and you need a little bit of guidance. Personally, I've had a few dark night of the soul experiences and we are connecting today so that I can share with you some of the wisdom that I've gained from this time. It's my hope and intention that it helps you move through your dark night of the soul with more ease and more grace. After being in the health industry for 20 years as a naturopath, as well as being a trained human design analyst, I've learned the most effective ways to support physical and emotional well-being, especially during times of chaos. So let's talk about that now. Firstly, it may be a relief to know that all humans on an evolutionary path will go through a dark night of the soul journey at some stage. As a manifesting generator, it is normal for you to feel super frustrated right now. And it's also normal for you to feel disconnected from your sacral responses or from your natural ability to experience joy. And while all of this sounds pretty negative, I want you to know that having a dark night of the soul is a type of rebirth. It occurs when you've identified a part of your life or belief system that was keeping you locked or stagnant in your human experience. What you've done is you've recognized, either consciously or unconsciously, with such depth that this experience or belief is outdated for you, that you now have a new truth, which means that an old part of you needs to fade away. Now, this new truth is causing your body, your mind, and your spirit to vibrate at a different frequency, an elevated frequency. And this new frequency can initially feel uncomfortable, especially while your body's cells and emotions are realigning with your new way of being. And that's why physical symptoms and depression often accompany a dark night of the soul. As a manifesting generator, you are prone to exhaustion, digestive issues like bloating, constipation or diarrhea, as well as reproductive issues because of your strong sacral center. So please don't be too surprised if any of these symptoms pop up during this time while you're feeling a little bit more disconnected from your sacral. It's because your physical structure is releasing that which no longer serves you or is even aligned with you. It's a sort of cleansing. Let's think of it as a cleansing, which means that you have the potential to exit this time, to leave your dark night of the soul behind you with new, stronger, healthier patterns in your cells if you choose. And that is genuinely exciting. So let's be clear. No, beautiful manifesting generator, you are not lost. And no, you are not broken. On the contrary, this is a time for celebration. And this is a time to acknowledge that you are in a period of growth, or we could call it soul evolution. You are evolving into a more authentic version of you. Remember that the discomfort or the frustration that you feel during this time is temporary, as change is the only constant that we have here on earth. When you realize that your dark night of the soul is here because you are upgrading your physical and energetic navigation system, then the less resistant and frustrated you feel about where you are, and the sooner you can be lighter and more satisfied, but only when the timing is correct for you. 
It's important to remember that your life circumstances do not create your physical reality. It is your state of mind that creates your reality. Therefore, you can navigate from dark to light and from sickness to healing simply by dreaming, imagining and thinking about how you want your life to look and feel. Give more attention to that than what you're struggling with at the moment and you will be on an accelerated healing path. There is so much to learn during a dark night of the soul. And if you use it to your advantage, you will be grateful for the experience and the gifts that it gave you once it's complete. Now here are three ways you can support yourself during a dark night of the soul. Number one is trust. It is vital to trust that where you are in this moment is perfect for you. Trust that everything is always working out for you, regardless of how it looks from a human perspective. Trust that you are never alone and that you can always call on your spirit team, higher self and guides for support. Trust that you are receiving the upgrades and the downloads that will make your wildest manifestations even more accessible for you. And trust that you are here listening to this recording for a reason. The second way to support yourself during a dark night of the soul is to recognize and acknowledge divine timing. Remember that divine timing is always at play. Divine timing is why you are experiencing your dark night of the soul right now. And divine timing is offering you the tools you need to evolve into a stronger, healthier, happier and more authentic version of you that will emerge into the world soon. You can track this energy to some degree by following the human design and or astrology transits. Now these tools reveal how the planetary shifts are impacting Earth and following them can give you a sense of relief, understanding and even optimism as you traverse through this liminal space. If you merge these transits with your personal human design soul blueprint or astrology chart, you may have a deeper awareness of the specific lessons, gifts and upgrades that your dark night of the soul is bringing you and why it's happening now. Now, as a naturopath myself who specializes in using human design for health, I find that so many of my clients come to me during this time when they're in the middle of their dark night of the soul and they have a whole array of symptoms that they cannot understand, that they cannot shift, that they're confused by. And by looking at their human design chart, comparing it with the transits and all of the energetics that are impacting them, we help to explain the symptoms and the emotions that they're experiencing at this time to help them have more clarity. So please, if you are considering seeing a practitioner or a healer at this time, I urge you to Follow it through if it does feel like a strong sacral response to go and make that appointment. And the third support tool that you have access to is your human design strategy. And as a manifesting generator, your strategy is to respond. It's common to feel lost, numb or even confused during a dark night of the soul, as we mentioned earlier. And if this is how you feel right now, 
connecting more deeply with your manifesting generator strategy of to respond will help you feel more in control and more connected with the core of who you truly are. It will also help your aura stay strong during these chaotic times. As a reminder, manifesting generators are here to respond to the world via their sacral energy. This gives you a yes or a no response to yes or no questions in the moment. Use your sacral for guidance throughout the day with both small and large things. For example, check in with your sacral when you're deciding what to eat at mealtimes. Ask yourself, do I feel like tacos for dinner? Does your energy expand and light you up? Then yeah, great, have the taco. If your energy goes "Mm," inwards, that's a no. Maybe having something else for dinner then, as it will probably suit your energy better at this time. It's also a great time during your dark night of the soul to ask your friends or your family members to ask you yes or no questions to situations that are confusing you because receiving that yes or no question can help you get more clarity from your sacral. Now, please, when you're doing all of this, notice how it feels when your energy expands because that is a yes from your sacral energy center. Also notice how it feels when your energy contracts and goes inwards, as that is a no from your sacral center. If you do the thing that's a no, you're either going to get frustrated or you're going to run out of energy and wonder why you chose to do the thing, because that no from your sacral was actually protecting you and conserving your energy. Also notice when your sacral doesn't respond at all, because in most cases, a lack of response is also a no, because your body did not light up in response to the stimuli. Now, it's important to acknowledge here that as a manifesting generator, you have a natural desire and ability and talent to skip steps when you're doing things. However, please remember you are prone to skipping too many steps if you're disconnected from your sacral. So be mindful of when you feel the inclination to skip steps and check in with your sacral to feel if what you're about to do is correct. Ask yourself, is your body telling you to skip the step or is it your mind that is telling you to skip the step? If it's your mind, then it's likely not in alignment with your highest potential. You may think that this process is slowing you down, but in actuality, it will help you move faster because it will prevent you from skipping too many steps and then needing to go back and correct them later, which only creates more frustration. I urge you to use this time to practice what it means to be a sacral being, trusting that when you do this, you are fueling the giant magnet that is your big and beautiful aura. Trusting your sacral will also help you to quieten your overactive mind and to move more deeply into your highly intelligent body. Essentially, the more you listen to your sacral, follow your yes and no responses, including when you consider skipping steps, and you do things that light you up the sooner you will have a more constant feeling of satisfaction that guides you into the light again. Remember, you are strong. You are capable. You are worthy. And you are loved. The universe is supporting you. And it was synchronicity that guided you here today. 
immersing yourself in these words has already created a shift in your vibration that's created a healing within you. And trust me when I say that your radiant manifesting generator energy is preparing to shine bright very soon. And I am so excited for you.